Well, anyways. Welcome to the rabbit hole, everybody. This is... And I'm Sharon. You know what I noticed? Is that a lot of people that want to be leaders shouldn't lead. And a lot of people that are actually leaders don't try to lead because they're just lead doing their thing. Yeah. And I see a lot of teachers where it's like, dude, if I I feel like a good leader would fucking help push people where they gravitate towards no matter what it is. Like, yes. if you got a student, he sucks at math. No matter what you do, he ain't going to pay attention. But he's shredding on the guitar. Yes. Invest in that. Quit well, wasting your fucking exactly. time. You're wasting everyone's time. Everyone plays a different... Everyone has a key role in society. And you got to fucking... If you're fucking doing your job... Pay attention with that kid's fucking See, key role is thing. help them find it instead of fucking them up. Their job is them. to make nine to five workers, exactly. not fucking. And that's been proven. Unique individuals. That's actually proved. That's not even a conspiracy theory. Oh yeah. Like, uh, the uh, the right. Rockefellers paid. There's a documentary how big oil conquered the world on YouTube. It's free. Obviously, it's on YouTube. But YouTube tires. So yeah, it's on YouTube for free. And yeah. they were talking about how the Rockefellers did that. They wanted to. They helped pay. They like paid off the school districts to help create a. Uh, I guess a curriculum. They say something like they wanted them just smart enough to keep a job, but not smart enough to question it. Exactly. And when you think about it, conspiracy man, what is school? School is pretty much like nine to five. You get your little breaks, just like work. By twelve years, you're a black belt in fucking showing up to a job you fucking hate. You learn how to be patient through it. And then what's homework? That's like overtime. It's yeah. training you to do that. So when you hate your job, you are a fucking take, assassin at taking shit. If you take a step back, it's pretty clear. Obvious. Yeah. yeah. And it's not bad. That's what I noticed. It's just like... And the subjects that they're... Why do you think they're cutting arts and music and things like they that? Don't want, they don't need that in the office. <laughs> fucking... It's it's they stick to obey, the math obey. and the history and the science and the history is fucking bullshit and it's the same with half the science so it's do they want you to be in they a, want you to think that the world is round we're, like, seriously yeah exactly <laughs> <laughs> well dude no we're fucking we're like organic fucking JK. we're creatures right we're like living beings right people are bad no I'm a fucking I'm, I'm a, a unicorn, unicorn bro I'm, go <laughs> I'm a no fucking gendered alien but fucking um. Shit, that totally made me forget what I was going to say. <laughs> We're unique creatures. Um, yeah, oh, yes, thank you. They, they're they trying to turn us into organic robots. Yeah. Like, we break down, but you think, dude... Matrix, like, just drain dude, the life force. Our veins are like fucking wires with like oil pumping through and keeping shit lubricated. Yeah. Our bones are our frames. Our brains are our... Fucking, we are machines. Like a, if I, I'm a mach- I work in a machine shop, so I work on CNC machines. That's the computer controls the machine. And so you, when like you're looking our, at them, you're like, I do. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You can see the programs. Like some people's programs are really like basic and it right. takes hella moves. It might take 10 minutes where someone else knows how to program and they're able to like make movements at the same time and do this shit. And it's like, that's like different people's brains. Some people are capable of doing much more than other people and we're and they're trying to program us maybe they're not i don't even dude i don't think the teachers are not they're just following the, everyone's just doing a job but this yeah, like everybody's the, just kind whoever, of looking out for them right yeah it's tough because then i've even thought like you know like i can become a teacher and then help you know like take things away from that direction and kind of try to promote someone's more interest and stuff like that be the kind of teacher that we're talking about but then it's like People are still just looking at it like everybody, all the teachers are just part of the system and everything, and all the kids, all the students aren't going to appreciate you, because I didn't appreciate any of my teachers. I was like, fuck you, you're part of the machine, bro. So it's I didn't like, even appreciate learning until I, like, recently. Well, we were talking about this before uh, we started the video, just how, uh, I think actually yesterday, but just how weed just enhances who you really are. Yeah. So lazy fucks smoke some weed, next you know they're just on the couch eating Doritos, and yeah. they're just like, oh, so weed makes you lazy, and they just preach that for the rest of their life. <laughs> it's like, you notice only you, you, or if you're paranoid, it's going to make you more paranoid. If you're creative, it might make you more creative. This is just fucking personal theories, bullshit, but... I think quit is an excuse, too. Like, not you, but people. Because I'll smoke pot and it makes me tired. And lit, But, hey, it's supposed to. It's supposed to relax you. But you still yeah. get off your ass and do what it is that you want to do. It doesn't have to stop you from doing anything. Oh, uh-uh. you could still. Dude I, dude, I love getting high before going to the gym. That's like my yes. favorite thing. Or I before jiu jitsu. Like, I don't I like get learning so high. Before yoga, but, like, I can... rolling. Like, getting high and rolling. Yeah. It's dumb as fuck. I know they can all tell, too. That's the only thing yeah, that makes yoga. me feel, like, a little bit weird is, like, 
I love being that high there, but I can tell that when I'm like making eye contact talking to someone, they're like, is this dude lit right now? Or maybe I'm just thinking it. I don't know. <laughs> I'm trying to hope they have this mindset though, where it's like, man, it's not my problem that you're annoyed that I'm happy right now. <laughs> like, I'm just trying to embrace that. Like, that's all, that's all that's going on right now. It's, that's very true. I'm very happy and you're frustrated that you're not smiley like I am. I'm not even dude, doing shit. I'm just sitting here driving and listening to Sean. I've Bob. taken breaks from weed like a day here, or a half a day there, and... The, when I notice what's the main difference between yesterday when I smoked weed and today when I didn't, what, what, what are the differences between the two days? The main ones that I see is that I didn't smile as much or I didn't laugh as much. If I don't smoke weed, I'll do all the same shit, but do it without a smile. Super cereal. Yeah, if I smoke some weed, I'll do all the same shit, but be like halfway smiling through like, I'm, fucking, I'm doing this shit right now. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah, it makes it a little silly. Well, it makes me less impulsive too. Like, I feel like my mind gets very speedy sometimes not impulsive like that like a physical or anything but i just mean like thoughts why sometimes i'll react like just say some shit or like get upset about shit or more if i get highs it kind of just slows me down where i'm like able to kind of be like why am i feeling this way right now while like something's going on and i'm like oh you're just a bitch it's another thing when i don't smoke weed it's a quality that my dad has. He's, I always called him a workaholic, and when I don't smoke weed, I become more of a workaholic too. Or it's just like everything has to go, go from exactly work out to go to work to clean my room to this. And it's just like when I smoke weed, just sit. You're just smoking weed right now. You're just sitting smoking weed. Yeah. I need that. Otherwise, I'm just gonna go till the right. brakes fall off. Right. Is that the, the right metaphor? I think so. Till the wheels fall it. off. Yeah. Yeah. Well, dude, you know what I'm trying to do too. No, and just after that. Smoke more weed? No, I'm just kidding. Smoke more weed, yeah. (laughs) After that recent mushroom experience, allegedly, that sort of happened, maybe. Yeah, allegedly, maybe. Allegedly, maybe, sort of did. Um, That, how you're saying, like, you go from the next thing, the next thing, the next thing, but now you're trying to be more like, all right, this is, I'm just smoking weed right now. Yeah. I'm trying to do that. Like, I'm trying to figure out how to be next thing, next thing, next thing, while being in the moment. On each thing. Thing, yeah. yeah. So, like, I'll get there, and I'll be at the gym, and instead of, like, because I'll be, like, at the gym, I gotta go to the next thing. Yeah. Like, oh, I can take my, I be a two-hour workout, it could be an yep. hour and a half workout. So now I'll just be, like, oh, start dancing to music in between, or try See, to stay <clears> loose, <throat> have fun, like, remind, you, not- remind yourself that you, you're you enjoying what you're doing. I catch yeah. myself, I'm like, fuck, I gotta go to jiu-jitsu, or fuck, I gotta go to the gym, and it's, like, wait, no, I choose, I choose, I'm choosing to do these things. And being there in the moment, and just not thinking about what you're gonna do yeah. after what you what you need to do after yeah. right, what am I gonna cook for dinner after this yeah, right being, now I'm just lifting these fucking weights yeah, I feel like that's what, what gets what's weird about depression is that it fucking makes you do everything that you shouldn't do like you're like man I need to get out but I'm not gonna do it I need to not take fucking five naps today yep, I, need to, do I it, need to make a kale shake but then Fuck you don't that. I need to go just go outside and hang out with friends or go on a hike but then you won't that's my big one when I'm feeling down bitch. I need to go hang out with friends and I will fight that shit i'll be like "Uh, uh-uh, just stay inside just do this do that i'll do everything but go hang out with friends and then usually once i do i'm like god i feel so much better right you know fucking no matter just being what around people is, even if you just do meditate fucking make some coffee and read a book in the backyard or go yeah. on a walk with no headphones or just fucking i don't know dude i don't know i don't mean to keep advocating all this sh- advocating right you know yes. advocate yeah advocate but it's like at the same time this is what's making me happy and so I think, and like, I'm not saying that it's going to fix everything and like maybe in like people instant think, oh, what are you saying? I should take SSRIs right? No, that's not what I'm saying at all. I'm just saying that this is what helps. It helps. It right. always plays a part. It's just it's all little tools. things, you know, it's like, it's almost like if you, if you look at life as if it was like an MMA fight and you're an MMA fighter, but you're, everything you're trying to do is like MMA instead of jujitsu and shit. It's like, oh, I got to make sure I'm happy. I got to make sure I'm hydrated. I got to make sure I eat well. Like you got to make sure you're balanced in all these other areas in order to be the most optimal you. Right. I don't know if that makes sense. That's kind of a weird stretch. No, it does. But it, I don't know. So that's why I say like. When you go on a hike, that's fucking super important. And that it's also, but then you might also need to have a phone conversation. You might also need to fucking read a book. Like it's never just one thing. It's like yeah. sometimes you need all these little things to play a part because you have all these natural needs as a human being. You need to have conversations. You need to learn. And people don't even realize that they want to learn. You need to fill up those endocannabinoid receptors. <laughs> Well, it's just weird, dude. We're all just confused. That's what. That's what. I, mean, I don't know if I've said this on a video before, but I I realized from psychedelics that my depression was really dis was just confusion. 
My confusion was disguised as depression, I think is what I said. Um, and I was really just confused. I don't know. I, yes, you, you said it right. Yeah. I was Because I was just confused, really just confused about what the fuck was going on. Like, you feel like people tell like, man, I don't know if you guys are, if you heard that 21 Pilots song where it's like, wake up, you need to make money. Who the fuck's 21 Pilots? Yes. I know Stone Temple Pilots. I know I think it's 21, uh, 21 Jump Street. I know 21 Jump Street. No, they're fucking, you, if you heard the song, you would know. But they uh, they have a song where it's like they're talking about how they remember just being kids and hanging out with friends and playing pretend and making rocket ships and shit. Everything's yeah. cool. And then out of nowhere, people are laughing in your face saying, wake up, you need to make money. Okay. And he's saying he wishes he could turn back time, go back to the... Yeah, you know that song. Oh, they it's fucking dope. play this shit at the gym. God yeah. damn it. God damn it. No, That's but it's like... I've heard that song. But you know what? I, I'm not like... They play such terrible music there. <laughs> Dude, I just listen to lyrics, though. Dude, I just, yeah, I try to just to tune out. I'm not going to be, like, rocking out to it, but I'm just like, I'm like, yeah, dude, that, that is kind of what's going on, though. You, you kind of just live your life. You're, every, everyone's supporting what you're doing, then out of nowhere, it's like, okay, dude, wake the fuck up. You need to get a real job. You need to, like, go to school. See, right? that's but why I you need to go an artist and get a real job and then get back to that stuff. Yeah, you fund your dream. Yeah, exactly. No one's going to do it for you. Because if I just would have came straight out of high school spinning a stick saying I want to light it on fire, my parents would have been like, "Uh uh-uh, go get to work, yo, go to school. But instead, went to school, got a job, got the fuck out, and then I can spin this fucking stick all day long and nobody can say shit. Right. I mean, it's kind of... You almost have to be more on your shit than the people that are criticizing you or that you're... Yeah, that's exactly it. You got... Meditating and writing were two things, too, that uh, have helped me a lot. And I give a lot of credit to psychedelics, but I feel like I don't give enough credit to yoga slash meditating because I feel like they're kind of go one and the same sometimes and to writing because at first I just needed to get all my thoughts out and then once I got all my thoughts out then I could start actually like having fun doing things yeah it was big I feel like if I didn't get through that I wouldn't I wouldn't really gotten far but now I don't write for shit so I never talk about it but it was like very important year or two of just filling up journals had to throw most of them away yeah they were terrible talk about your shit rep your shit I'm your shit no it's fucking (laughs) huge man like I don't know I don't know. I get excited because, like, people are fucking... Everyone... If People are unique. If they be unique, if they choose to be their true selves, yes. then they create unique shit. And I like unique, different shit. I'm tired of like this the more shit. the more everybody is themselves, the more unique they are. And it's the more fun. people are alike, it means that you're not being yourself. Right. I don't, That's just how I feel. I want people to be themselves. And I want to have weird conversations and fun interactions and seeing weird shit that people make. Or if, you, if anyone is watching this and likes, thinks this is cool, make your own shit. I want to check it out. I want to see what For y'all are real. into like that. I'm tired of all this same duplicate shit. Everyone's copy, paste, and it's cool if you're into it. Yeah, copy paste. It's, it seems like a fucking matrix. I don't just copy paste, copy yeah. paste. No, create your own shit. Let's all fucking vibe. Yeah, yeah wrap up this shit. Yeah, we love y'all. We out. Yeah.